Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank you for coming here today. I'm Monica and I'm circulation specialist. And uh, today I will talk about, and in next five minutes, I will talk about 1800flowers.com. Firstly, I will tell what does our company do. Then I will say a few words about our development strategy. Then I will tell why you should invest in us. Imagine you're in your home, here in Adorable, and there is a sudden feeling of excitement. Okay, so I think in this case our presenter, also this is not a native English speaker, um, I think uh, her native English may be German, but I'm not sure. But in any case, I think what's good about this presentation is she does seem to be very relaxed. Maybe a little bit too relaxed. In other words, I'm not really seeing what the main interesting point is. I think she's about to tell that to us. So at the beginning, she's listing some ideas about this interesting company, which by the way is a company where you buy flowers online. And anticipation. And then uh, you're opening a door and you see it. A beautiful arrangement of fresh and colorful flowers. So what she's doing here is interesting and it is a different idea. What she's trying to do is she wants to tell a story. So she's asking the audience to please follow my example. Can you imagine you coming home and you open the door and you see an arrangement of flowers? How would that make you feel? That would make you feel happy. So. I think that's an interesting approach. She's trying to engage the audience. And you're surprised, you're delight, and most important of all, you're smiling. There is no better place to order flowers that online than 1800flowers.com. Same and the next day delivery is possible every day, every season, uh, winter, summer, spring, all four. 88% of our uh, business is online, so it's very convenient. Also, our company uh, uses technology that uh, goes beyond our own websites because we want to meet customers uh, regardless of where they are. For example, there is a bot for the messenger which uh, allows our customers to uh, order products without leaving a Facebook. We deliver flowers across the United States and around the world. So if you want to send your flowers internationally, trust us to uh, deliver your most heartfelt messages. Because of our partnerships with local florists and flower growers, uh, we can ensure that flowers will be delivered fresh from the field and on time. Our floral compositions are artfully created and perfect, perfectly arranged by professional florists. We transformed our uh, floral website to multi-branded. Uh, I do like the slides, they're pretty clear. This one's a little bit busy because it's showing all the products, but generally your slides are very uh, gift simple, portal. easy to follow. We are behind Harry and David, The Popcorn Factory, God Say, Simply Chocolate, Cheryl Cookies, and Fruit Buckets. And that lineup will continuing to expand. To expand. We are effectively growing company Okay, so now we're inside the body of the presentation, and I think the beginning was a little bit more interesting to tell the story, but now things are slowing down. And the slowdown is, again, that's the hard part of the presentation, but her slides are getting too much information. All those products, we missed the main point, and now we see where the revenues are coming from, but again, it's a little bit too tiny to Our see clearly. Our annual income in years 2015-2018 was over $1,000 million. Our stock price uh, in May 9th, 2019, amounted to almost $20. And as you can see, this value is uh, had a growing trend in the past few years. The 1800flowers.com is a uh, uh, 
leading provider of gourmet food and floral gifts. We have a broad uh, offer of truly original gifts and uh, that can help our customers to express themselves perfectly. That's why investing in 1-800-flowers.com will bring you certain profit. Thank you for your attention. Okay, so I think we did not get much of a warning there of the ending coming, although we kind of knew we were past the main information because she went on to just go ahead and make an investment. Okay, so I think in this presentation we can see, again, this is an in-between presentation. It's a little bit slower than the other ones we've seen. Slow can be good, but if you're going to be slow, inside of your slow, you need to have some exciting points or parts. I think we we're missing that. The story could have been it. If she had told the story and made it a little bit more interesting, maybe with a photo of someone coming home, seeing photos, and getting excited, or something like that, a husband buying photos uh, of flowers for his wife. <laughs> that would have been interesting, a photo of that. But we didn't get that, and so it's a little bit hard to follow. So I think that this presentation is, again, an in-between presentation. Not too, not too terrible, not too great. Let me back up here a little bit. 1-800-flowers.com will bring you certain profit. Thank you for your attention. Yes, yeah, sudden, sudden ending is a little bit surprising. So let's look at the score sheet here and see some of the points we can learn. The time was controlled very well, didn't go too long, but she definitely was slow. The English problem here was, I think the words were pretty clear, so she did use all English, very good. The system was a little bit hard to follow. I kind of got the idea at the beginning, but then it seemed to get confused a little bit. The delivery, here was the problem, the tempo, just very, very slow delivery. So I think that that needed to be speeded up at least sometimes, maybe not all the time, but sometimes. Like maybe when she told the story about flower delivery, she could have made that very exciting. Okay, the sentence length and, and the usage of the sentences was pretty good, but they were lacking emphasizers. The manner was interesting, right? She did look like she was comfortable and interested, but there was never any, like, main point. There was, like, no body language to say, oh, this is very important. So I think that was missing a bit. And that goes to the body language. I think her body language is a little bit too relaxed. She did do some movement, but it didn't help us to get the main point. And the visual aids were not bad. They were pretty clear at the beginning, and sometimes they had too many products on them to see at once, I think. So that was a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's try another one. 